and we're, we're just at a campaign group meeting, so behind us is the campaign group members. It's bigger now than ever before in recent history, which is a reflection of the left comrades that have come back into Parliament and those that have been elected into Parliament. And basically, the situation is this, of course we're devastated about the election result. Of course we are. But the period of mourning that election result is over today. That's it. We now move on. And we move on to make sure we use every mechanism we can to oppose this government. Because in this Queen's speech, like though it is, it's quite clear that what they're launching is another attack and on the working class, both in terms of continuing austerity, but also more fundamental than that. This is an attack on basic trade union rights that we've not seen maybe on this scale for over a century. This is a line in the sand that they want to force us over. Therefore, what we'll be doing, make it clear, when Jeremy Corbyn gets up this afternoon to respond to the Queen's speech, he'll make it absolutely clear that we will be opposing this anti-trade union legislation. But again, I repeat time and time again, the role of a Labour MP, yes, it is in Parliament to oppose the government, but the role of a Labour MP is also on the picket line, it's also on the demonstration, it's also on the occupations. And that's what we'll be doing in this coming period, to expose what the threat of the Tories, what they're doing to our communities, what they're doing to our basic human right, and the, the right to withdraw one's labour is a basic human right convened in law by the ILO and other legitimate organisations. And this is something we will stand four square with the trade union movement on. Let's be absolutely clear. I think now, of course, our role as a movement is to lift people up, to actually now give them courage that they'll need in the struggle of these coming years as these Tories attack our communities and attack, yes, our class. Solidarity. Promise, they did promise, Mike, that he would say.